The problem with the demagoguery that Trump has spewed on the campaign trail is that it flies in the face of facts. By slapping tariffs on, U on Mexican exports to the US, he's a, he, he doesn't understand that out of every dollar that Mexico exports to the United States, 40 cents are US content. Mexico, the United States, and Canada have probably developed what you see nowhere else on the face of the earth, joint production platforms and supply chains. He makes these arguments about trade uh, duties and people don't necessarily understand who would pay those duties. That, you know, it would mean higher prices for all the goods that, of course, people are already paying. What Canada, Mexico, and the United States have been doing for the past 15 years is exporting North America. How do you win the hearts, of, hearts and minds of uh, other nations and other citizens of countries that are relevant to your security, well-being, and prosperity? What Trump is doing is simply playing to pre-existing stereotypes. What they are are people who are profoundly angry that they have been left behind, that this economy is destroying not only their jobs, but their social status. Five years ago, migration from Mexico into the United States reached a historic zero net, which means that more Mexicans are going back to Mexico than those coming across the border. What worries me as a, as a journalist is that we haven't seen an effective counter narrative to Trump's uh, uh, hateful narrative. The networks, the three big networks, uh, CBS, ABC and NBC, uh, their, their news shows, the stories that they put out on their newscasts uh, basically revolve around either crime or immigration. That's it. How do we push back against a vision which regardless of the bombast, the demagoguery, the xenophobia, the populism, is not rooted in hard data and facts? There is no more important relationship for the future prosperity and security of the United States in the relationship with Mexico and vice versa. 20% of, of Mexico's current population, if we added the current numbers of the United States to Mexico's population, then 20% of Mexico lives in the United States. What we see in many ways is a rebellion of the masses, the, the grassroots both on the Republican side and on the re Democratic side rebelling against party leadership. Now, this is not a purely American phenomenon. It's happening all over the world. I think that there's an, a moral argument to be made that uh, the Mexican government should push back and other actors should push back. How do we fight nativism in the age of social media? This is a wicked problem, and it's a problem that we at USC and elsewhere should be trying to resolve. Is that In fact, you have these two countries that are becoming increasingly reliant on one another economically, socially, in terms of security, in terms of international affairs, and yet our two societies still don't understand one another, we don't really trust one another. At the end of the day, we really don't like each other that much. And Trump has reminded us of that.